afternoon. I am Morgan Brown, Assistant Manager of Creighton Car Rental, and I am here to give you our customer service training program on how to upgrade our customers from a regular SUV to an intermediate SUV. First, before our customers get into their training, we need to be able that they know the selling process of the car to the customer. The customer goes online at www.creightoncarrentalservices.com to get a reservation online. This gives them access to pictures of the cars that they will be wanting, the benefits, the price, and it's just a quick, easy click on their reservation. Next, they will have to come to the location for the car pickup and meet with a representative to confirm their information, get a payment, and to get their car keys for their rental. At this point, when our customer meets with our representative, this will be our customer service representative's time to shine. We need to make sure that they are going to be able to explain and to connect with our customers on a deeper level. And so this is why we came up with a program called Igloo. This is our five-step program, I-G-L-O-O. -O, our five-step program on how our customers will be able to upsell this car from a regular to an intermediate SUV. So step one, I, is to introduce yourself to your customer with a firm handshake. This is to explain to our customers that we want to know, we want to get to know them and we want to, for them to have the best experience at Creighton Car Rentals that they can. So in our step two will be G, and this will be to get to know our customer. We will give our customer service representative a list of questions that are kind of like icebreaker questions. So some of these questions to ask will be, why are you renting? Do you have children? Are you on vacation? How are you today? And how many people are in your family? By having these lists of questions in front of the customer service reps whenever they need a little bit of an extra help to get to know our customer, this will give them access to connect with our customers on a deeper and a more personal level. This is a great mindset of customer service because we need to be able to listen. We want our customers to have trust in us. We want them to be able to understand that we want to hear about what's going on in their lives and we want to be able to help them as much as we possibly can. By having these icebreaker questions, this is a really great way for our customer to give us some information in order to get to our step three, G, which will be, not G, I'm so sorry, L, will be lead way questions about our vehicle. So if our customer, we are asking them, how are you today? And they say, oh, I'm doing great. And then we lead into questions of how many children do you have? Are you on vacation? What is the reason for rental? These questions lead to answers that will get us to lead way about the benefits of upgrading to an intermediate SUV. Say our customer says that they have children. This is whenever our customer service reps will sweep in with a lead way question to our customers to kind of explain the benefits of the intermediate SUV. Do you have children? Yes. Well, our intermediate SUV has leather seats for only 50 more dollars a day. Are you on vacation? Yes, we're on vacation. Well, you're going to need some more trunk space than a regular SUV. Our intermediate SUV require, gives us much extra trunk space. And this is a really great way for our customers to be able to retain information, our customer service reps to be able to retain information about our customers. And this is really great, a really great mindset to have as a customer service rep. So the G is to make a lead way from getting to know our customer in switching that to the benefits of our car. The intermediate SUV is only $50 more a day. It is more space, more leg room, trunk space. But this is whenever we come in and say, but for you, we will lower this to only $20 a day. This keeps our customers very engaged because they saw a price drop of $30 and seeing only 20 more dollars a day doesn't seem as much of a jump as saying 50. And so this is whenever we want our customers to say, yes, we would love to upgrade to the intermediate SUV. But in all cases, this isn't going to happen. Some customers are going to be very adamant and stuck on just staying with their regular SUV. And so this is whenever we come in with our first O. We want to offer a test drive. So, by offering a test drive, by offering a test drive, if they are not sold on it, we will show the physical benefits of receiving this car over the older regular version. And it's a really great motivation for our customers to want to purchase it. 
because seeing leather seats and seeing a larger trunk really gives our customer that idea of seeing this in their head over seeing the regular SUV. This is what they have envisioned in their mind. And if we show them something lower than what they've already seen, they're not going to want to buy it as much. And $20 a day isn't going to seem as big of a deal. We give our customers this test drive. And during this test drive, we get to know our customer a little bit more. We want to connect as much as we can with our customers in the experience that they have at Creighton. And by driving around, they will see the drive of this car and we will give them all of the benefits and our customer service reps will be trained to give them the best look of this car that they possibly can during their test drive. And whenever they get back from their test drive, our second O comes in to play. This is an overview of why this car is better for them. And this is whenever we go back to knowing our knowing our customers. By having our customer service representatives get to know our customers before even bringing up the idea of getting a, another car to be more expensive, we can use this as a leverage. And this is showing that our customer service representatives care more about the well-being of our customer than the money itself by saying we will lower this to only $20, only 20 more dollars a day than the regular SUV and giving them the idea of seeing the physical intermediate SUV first in their head over the regular. This will really give them the idea of why that we want them to have the best experience with the car and with Crate and Rental Services. We want to give them an overview of why this car is the best. And this is whenever we use our mental notes. And at this point, the igloo, the igloo process is over. We have went through introducing ourselves, giving a list of icebreaker questions and getting to know our customer, leadway questions about the car, offering a test drive and an overview of why our car, why our intermediate SUV is much better for the well-being of our customer because that is what we care about most the well-being of our customer over anything else. And our customer service reps will be offered simulations that they will be mandatory to take, where it will be a simulation online of a customer that is going to be very tricky for them to get to upgrade. And by having this, this gives them a little bit of experience on what to do whenever our customers aren't going to be as giving in to spending that much more money on a car. And by having these ideas in play and having our igloo moniker set up for our customer service representatives to use. This is the best way for our customer service reps to be able to communicate with our customer that we want the best for them, not for us. We want our customers to get the better experience by getting a better car. And this is why I think that the Igloo moniker, the Igloo algorithm will help our our crate and rental services upgrade our customers from a regular car to an intermediate car. Thank you so much for listening. And if you have any questions about my customer service training program, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope you're having a great day.